Hi, my name is Andy and I teach Computer Science A-Level at the Henley College. I would just like to spend the next few minutes going over some of the questions you may have about the course. So what is the Computer Science A-Level about? Well, half of it is about learning to program and being able to write your own applications and your own algorithms. And the other half is more theoretical, so you will learn about what happens inside a computer, about topics such as databases and networks, as well as some other programming languages, um, assembler and functional programming. So how and when does assessment take place? Well, there are two exams that you would take at the end of the second year. They're both worth 40%. One is on the computer and involves algorithms and programming, and the other is a written exam involving the more technical aspects of the course. In addition to that, there is the non-exam assessment. This is worth 20% and you will end up producing something that looks a bit like that. The emphasis these days is very much on the technical solution, which is the piece of code that you will produce. It has to be a very level standard. And the more concepts that you can include within it, the higher marks you can potentially get. So which programming language do you teach? Well, here at the Henley College, we do C-sharp. I know a lot of you will have done Python at school, but there's nothing wrong with learning a second language. So you'll get a chance to see the similarities, but also the differences between different programming languages. But the key thing is that at A-level, we learn about object-oriented programming. And this is what c -sharp was designed to do and Python was not. And this makes it much better for teaching those key concepts associated with OOP. In addition, when it comes to the project and having to produce a nice application, the IDE Visual Studio offers a much better graphical user interface and even the console applications have much more potential within them. And finally, if you want to write a mobile app, well, Unity, which is one of the popular IDEs for producing mobile apps, uses C Sharp. So is there a mathematical component to the course? Well, yes, there is. It's not the same as Mass A level. You won't be studying things like calculus but there are a large number of mathematical concepts which are closely tied into computer science. For instance, Boolean algebra, discrete graph theory, and searching and sorting algorithms. So it is for this reason that we actually ask for a grade seven in mathematics at GCSE, or a grade six with a grade six in science to support it. We do find that a GCSE in math is the best indicator of success in the subject. And a lot of the students who do come on to study computer science are also studying maths and sometimes further maths as well at A level. So what careers can this lead to? Well, it could lead to a career in software engineering, and there is currently a high demand for good software engineers. Or alternatively, you could go into IT. How many students are there in the class? Well, in the last few years, I've had between seven and 21. I've had a few females, not as many as I would like, but the numbers have improved over the years. What were last year's results? Well, I just had seven students, but amongst those seven students, we had two grade A's, three B's and two C's. And what resources do I need to buy? Well, I would suggest you buy the AQA A-Level Computer Science book by Bob Reeves. There is also a revision book that goes alongside it that you could buy closer to the exams. So what experience do I have? Well, I have actually worked here at the Henley College for the last 10 years. I have taught A-Level Computer Science, but I also teach on the maths and the further maths A-Level courses. Prior to that, I spent 20 years in industry working for ICL, which is now Fujitsu, and for Hewlett Packard and I have programmed in a range of different languages. And finally, I would just like to go through some of the things that you will be learning about.